forced Sharp to bounce back and then go at her again, and then she was able to draw that offensive foul. Crafty stuff. Griffin rolling to the hoop, gets the call on Munga, count it. And roll is just outstanding. The way she separates quickly, gets on the rim, and, uh, and such poise to be able to finish that over the top. Samuels, what a fine, Froling has six first quarter points and the call. We spoke about Sharp's rebounding ability. She just keeps the ball alive for others to be able to come up with it. So they need to do a job on her on the offensive glass. Griffin took some contact and makes it. You're forcing Jade Melvin to guard her. That also then ties her out and makes her, you know, helps take away from her offense. Oh, Melvin flips it up and in. Crocker back to Wilson. Griffin, feet set in the corner. Froling and Werung both saw 12 minutes off the bench in the first half. Poke from behind by Crocker has the steal. Wilson. Head of the play is Crocker. Defense to offense. Uh, inside and, and try and find the gaps and play in the gaps, you're more likely to get uncontested finishes. Samuels for one more. I think if she had her time again, she'd make sure she'd box out on that first one. But to be able to back it up was fantastic. Samuels hangs and finishes. Off the screen was Crocker. Griffin there, rolling to the hoop. Has a shooter in the corner. Griffin's going to go herself. And another and one of the spirit. McCoya has the height advantage on Wilson. Finds Pizzy outside. Final look here for the Capitals. If they want it. And that'll do it. The Bendigo spirit. A dominant second half, a dominant third quarter, get the job done by 22 points at home here.